And it, it, it was crazy. Now, I know National starting to unwind that. But look, the reality is, if you actually went into the detail of Triple CFA and, and the Responsible Lending Code, there was an ability for banks to step above that and to be more pragmatic. Um, they just didn't. And, and I think that's where Labour kind of, or, or the government at the time, kind of misunderstood this because banks are inherently conservative. They're always going to take... Um, they're going to take a very clean approach to things. They're always worried about the risk and the disconnect between upstairs and, and the front line in their businesses. Um, so you're always going to get them taking a very literal interpretation of what they're told to do. And that's what we saw. I, mean, I actually think that the regs um, had a degree of flexibility in them that the banks didn't apply because they are risk adverse by nature. And to add to that, regulators, regulators can be quite scary, as we've seen with a lot of self-declaration and problems that in, yeah. entities have have, uh, have have identified. And you don't just get, you know, having to pay back the money to the customers, you know, you then get taken to court and fined a few million dollars. And so there's a real natural risk aversion in those last or large organisations. And, you know, JB's point is that, you know, the regs arguably were flexible, but actually it's got to be black and white you know, because banks will go to the, you know, naturally anyone regulated will go to the sort of the, the least risk um, uh, outcome. So, yeah. yeah. I remember having this conversation with, with you, John, like must have been in 2022. I think we were having a chat around the triple CFA. So for those that need, need an explainer around that acronym, the Consumer Credit Contracts Finance Act, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So when that came out, I remember you were fairly critical about this at the time. I, I probably went a little bit further and suggested that that bit of legislation was actually being used to bring the property market down on purpose. 